Well, Gianna, police have just taped off even more of this area. They are calling this a fluid situation. You're taking a look at one of the scenes behind me. Now, police tell me this is where a man was shot and killed, but where I'm standing right now, just up the hill from here is a second scene. You can see those flashing lights just up that hill. Police tell me that's where another man was shot and killed. All of this happening just about 50 to 60 yards from where the annual Juice Bowl football tournament was going on just a few hours ago. Now, take a listen to this video that was sent to us from a viewer. You can hear the gunshots being recorded as it's all happening. You can you can hear more than a dozen gunshots. You can see people dropping to the ground and hiding behind cars. Police tell me at this point they know a total of six people were shot. Two of them are dead. They are not releasing many details about the four other people who were shot, saying they are being treated at University Hospital. Police say with all of the people in the park for the football tournament, things could have been a lot worse. There were a lot of people that were here and for the number of shots that were probably fired here, there could have been more uh, victims here, but uh, even for the six is still very tragic and obviously for the two that are deceased. Now Louisville Metro Police tell me they did have security out here for the juice bowl, but wouldn't go into the specific details. We've also just learned Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher was here at the juice bowl when the shooting happened. His office has sent out a release saying the mayor was a few hundred feet away with his security. He is OK and safe tonight. We'll have more on this investigation as it continues. Again, police are saying they don't have any suspects and have made no arrests. Reporting live, Emily Maha, WLKY News. Thanks. Emily, we want to check in now with Lauren Adams. Lauren, you spoke with players and fans who were at Shawnee Park when those shots were fired. Yeah, good evening to you, Gianna. As you just heard police mention, there were several hundred people out here at the time enjoying an event that's become a staple in the West Louisville community when what's traditionally been a day of fun and football took a tragic turn. I mean, we heard pop, pop, pop. We thought it was firecrackers. Next thing we know, we saw a bunch of guys in the field and uh, and everybody was running, uh, everybody was running toward the south end of the, of the game to get away from it. Now that was just before two o'clock in the midst of these games when those shots were fired. Six people were hit and in the end two of them were dead. Players on the field tell me, Gianna, they had no idea what was going on. The announcers actually stopped and spectators began running. One young lady playing in the juice bowl for the very first time says when she took off her helmet, she saw the aftermath and from where she was standing, one man lying dead in the grass. I can't say that I didn't expect something stupid to happen. Like, it's sad to say, but as much stuff has been going on this year, and, I mean, we just came out here to have fun, you know, have a game and turn around and this happens. And back here live tonight, as my colleague Emily Maha mentioned, police are continuing to investigate at this hour, and we have just learned right now Shawnee Park has been shut down to protect the integrity of the police investigation. That is the very latest for you tonight from Shawnee Park. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. As Emily mentioned, Mayor Fisher was at Shawnee Park at the time of the shooting. He expressed his condolences to the victims on his official Twitter account, saying in part to have people with guns so disrespect life. Shawnee Park and neighborhood tradition is sad and has no place in our city. He goes on to say, I implore those with information about the shooting to please call LMPD. My thoughts and prayers are with the families of all those impacted by today's violence. And we'll bring you more details on this late breaking story as they come into our newsroom and online, of course, at WLKY.com.